Commanders, welcome to the second part of our guide series. Today, we're going to discuss the modes that are available in Armored Warfare. The game has two basic mode groups available, player versus player and player versus environment. Both groups offer quite different experience and each requires a different set of skills. The player versus player modes, as their name suggests, are all about fighting other players while in the player versus environment modes, you team up with several other players to fight AI-controlled opponents. Let's start with the latter modes. Player versus environment consists of two basic modes and one endgame mode for advanced players. The basic modes are called PvE missions and special operations. PvE missions are the bread and butter of this mode and are available in two difficulty levels for all vehicle tiers. During these missions, you team up with four other random players to complete each mission's objective. The objectives vary from mission to mission. In some missions, you have to protect civilians from bands of marauding mercenaries. In some others, you have to capture a strategic asset by entering a circle near it and staying in it for a certain period of time. Each of these missions has a name that you can see upfront as well as its set of primary and secondary objectives. Primary objectives must be completed for the mission to succeed. Secondary objectives don't have to be completed, but but they add a major bonus to credit and experience income from that mission and skipping them is usually not the best strategy. Both types of objectives are visible on the minimap as well as on the battlefield itself. Make sure you work with your team to complete them. Cooperation is the key to success because groups of enemy AI opponents that are sometimes called bots by the community will try to hinder your progress. They can be extremely dangerous opponents, especially on higher tiers and higher difficulty levels. Do not underestimate them. Once you master the basic principles of PvE missions, a new, more difficult game mode awaits you. We call it Special Operations. The basic principle is the same, but unlike standard PvE, Special Operations do have an ongoing story that is tying them together and are considerably more difficult with Tier 9 and Tier 10 Special Operations, all but impossible to win without a coordinated group. Even though this mode is still accessible even to the new players, we highly recommend starting with the standard PvE missions to get the hang of the basic gameplay. Once you master the special operations mode, you can start attempting to unlock the true prizes behind it, the achievements. Each special operation has several achievements available, which require you to meet certain conditions in exchange for exclusive prizes, such as camouflage, player avatars, or titles. Obtaining these is a badge of honor and a mark of a truly skilled PvE player, which is why the achievements in question are very difficult to obtain. But there's one more difficult level of PvE, which is called Heroic. Heroic PvE is only available to battalions and absolutely requires organized gameplay as well as active communication and special tactics. We'll talk more about that in one of the future guides. In the next part of the series, we'll discuss the player versus player modes that are available in the game. But until then, see you on the battlefield!